Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margarita and today I'm here to bring you a book unhaul. So my bookshelves are starting to overflow again and I've read a couple books recently that I'm just not interested in and I don't want to keep. So I figured what better time to do a book unhaul. I also did, um, I tried a couple chapters in each of these books that I hadn't read yet and I was like, yeah, no, this can go. So let's just talk about some books that I don't want to keep anymore. The first one is probably going to be relatively controversial <laughs> and that is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. This is a um, really pretty edition that I bought. I forget, I, I forget the name of the edition, but I read Frankenstein for the first time in October and didn't particularly love it, but it's not bad. I am getting rid of this copy of Frankenstein. I have another copy of Frankenstein that has illustrations in it and I'm going to keep that copy because I do want to go back and reread it when I'm a little bit older, see if that changes my enjoyment of the book. Um, but I think that would be a better copy to keep. So getting rid of this one, I'm really upset that I did not love it as much as everybody else seems to, but you win some, you lose some. The next book I have to talk about is The Awakening of Miss Prim by Natalia San Martin Finalora. And I read about a chapter of this book and I just was not that very interested. Um, not much more to say than that. It's not a bad book, it's just not for me or it's not for me at this time. So I'm gonna let this go. I'm sure there's someone out there who will absolutely love it. I'm just not that person. Along the same veins, I tried a chapter of A Good and Happy Child by Justin Evans and this was just I didn't care for the writing I didn't care for the plot um, it basically starts out with this guy going to talk to a counselor and telling her that you know if I told you what my childhood was like you would never believe me and you would think I was insane and you would think that that would be like really great and gripping and draw you into the story but for some reason just the way it was written I just could not have cared less. So it's a beautiful book. I mean, I love it and it looked beautiful on my rainbow bookshelf, but that's not a good enough reason to keep a book anymore. So getting rid of this one. The next book I have to talk about is A Short History of Indians in Canada by Thomas King. This is a short story collection. I read about three or four of the stories. And they're not bad, I'm just not particularly interested in them. Um, there are other things by Thomas King that I would like to read that are not this. So I'm just going to move this one along, let somebody else enjoy it. The next book that I have to talk about is The Universe of Us by Lang Leave. This is apparently a signed copy, I did not realize that. Um, but this is a poetry collection, I believe it's her third poetry collection. And I just found this one rather lackluster. I didn't connect with the poems. Um, for me, poetry is definitely something that I have to connect with the poems or I just don't really care. And this just wasn't great. And it's not worth keeping on my shelves just because it goes with my rainbow shelf. Just time to move it along. Next book, I didn't even get a whole chapter and I got like a page and a half. I was like, oh no, I cannot read a book that's written like this. And that is The Hawk by Stephen Brust. I, I just, I don't even know what it's about. I just didn't care. The writing style was not for me. So I'm going to move this one along. Someone else will definitely love it. Just not me. The next book that I have to talk about is um, The Dead Father's Club by Matt Haig. This is another book that I read very recently. It is a Hamlet retelling. I have dog hair. Um... It is a Hamlet retelling and it's just okay. I found it mediocre. I was not particularly thrilled to continue on with the story when I was reading it. The only reason I finished it was because I was listening to it as an audiobook, which I do not recommend. The audio audiobook was not that great. Um, and it's just okay. I just don't, I'm not going to reread it. So there's no point in keeping it on my shelves. Another book that I've I've started multiple times but never actually finished is The Magician, The Magicians by Lev Grossman, and it's not that I dislike the characters, which I hear a lot of people do. It's not that I dislike the story. It's not that it's not bad. It's just 
can't keep my interest and I don't know why. I've started watching the series on Netflix and I think that's just going to be how I consume this material. It's not going to be by reading the books, it's going to be by watching the show. And like that, I mean it is what it is. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I know there are people who love this series so I'm going to pass it on. Hopefully someone else will get it and love it in book format. It's just not for me, I'd rather watch the show. The next book that I have to talk about is The Weathering by Lucy Wood. This is a book that I started and I got a good chunk of the way through, but I didn't care. So I DNF'd it for a while and I was like, I'll come back to it. I'm sure that I'll love it and I'll come back to it and never came back to it. It's been over a year. I never came back to this book. So I think that it's just time to move it along. Whenever I look at it, I'm like, not interested. So I think that's a good indicator that this can find another home. The next book that I had to talk about, I read, I actually really enjoyed, I'm just never going to reread it, and that is The House Girl by Tar Tara Conklin. And this is a good book. It's about, it follows a dual perspective. This girl works for this law firm and she's trying to, I believe, um, she's working on a historic class action suit seeking reparations for the descendants of African American slaves. So it follows that timeline and then it follows another timeline of Josephine who's a 17 year old slave in America on a plantation and it follows their dual stories and I really enjoyed it when I read it. I think it's a good book. I think I gave it like three or four stars. Like by no means did I not like this. Um, I'm just not going to reread it. So I think that I can save space on my shelves for books that I will reread and just pass this along and I really hope someone else picks this up and loves it as much as I did. It was really really good, just not something I'm going to reread. Um, I think that's the vein of the rest of these books. The next one is The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rundell and this was a tough one because I did not want to get rid of this one but I had to sit down and talk to myself and say are you actually going to reread that and the answer was no. And if I want to reread it, I'm sure I can get it from the library. This is a middle grade book about this little girl who lives in Russia with her mom. And they are um, wolf wilders, which means in the courts of Russia, it's, you know, this big fad to have tamed wolves. Well, eventually the wolves, you know, turn on their masters or their masters don't want them anymore. So they're sent to these wilders who teach them how to be wild again and reintroduce them into the wild in a way that they will survive. So it's it's those two, that's what they do, but then for some reason, I forget what it is, her mom is taken away. So her and this band of like other children go to the capital or something to get her mom back and it's just, it's good. Not very plausible. Um, and the cover is absolutely stunning, but I'm not going to reread really this. I'm sure there's a kid out there who's going to fall in love with it, read it a million times. So it's selfish to keep it on my bookshelf. The next book that I have to talk about is Memories by Langleave. This is um, a combination of Love and Misadventure and Lullabies by her. And I'm going to keep those two books that I have. But I'm going to get rid of this one because it's essentially the same exact things. I think there may be like five new poems in this, but it's not something that I need. I don't need all three of them, you know what I mean? So I'm going to get rid of this one and keep the other two copies because I did enjoy those um, and just let that one go. The next book is a book that I really, really wanted to love. And I've kept it on my shelves for a while because I, was, because I wanted to love it so much and I thought I would reread it. But it's it's time to you know come to come down and face reality. Her body and other parties by Carmen Maria Machado. This is a short story collection, mostly about the violence uh, put on women's bodies and stuff. And it's okay. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's not great. Um, some of the stories I felt like I was too stupid to actually understand, and I don't like feeling like that. Um, as a reader because I read a lot of stuff and I read a wide range of things so I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on different concepts and things but that was just like there were things in here I was like why am I missing the point of this this makes no sense 
and it leads me to believe that there was no point of the story. Um, and I just, it's just not for me. And that's okay. And it's time to move it on because I'm not going to reread it. And I just don't care. The next set of books are the last set of books and they are all part of a series. <clears throat> and that is the, I don't know what it's called, but it's this series. The Blue is for Nightmare series. This is a series that I read a lot when I was younger in high school and like loved it. It's all about Wicca and like the super badass teenage witch and whatever. And I really loved it when I read it as a kid. Um, as a kid. It's like I'm so old. Um, when I read it when I was younger. And I tried rereading Blue is for Nightmares. I want to say I got like 80 pages in and it wasn't bad. It just wasn't interesting to me anymore. And I think that I outgrew this and I was keeping the whole series on my shelves for the purpose of rereading them one day and, you know, diving back into the world and feeling all the nostalgia and I just didn't have it when I picked this book up and I DNF'd this and it's just, it's something that I enjoyed when I was younger and that's great. It's not something that I can read now that I'm older and care. So I'm just going to let these books go. Hopefully there's some younger version of me out there that's going to see them and be like, oh my god, I'm so excited and just buy them and love them to pieces like I did when I was younger. But I've just outgrown them and it's time to let them go and it is okay. So those are all of the books that I am unhauling. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books, your thoughts and opinions, if you think I'm stupid for unhauling them. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!